Hi, this is Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and here I'm looking at the Cricut Message Mate 2, which is made by ZTE. It's one of ZTE's first phones on the U.S. market. And the Message Mate 2 is a very affordable, inexpensive, full QWERTY slab phone. And there's really a couple questions that you have to answer when you're looking at a phone like this. First of all, the phone only costs $60, so. Am I sacrificing too much to get a phone for $60 with no contract agreement and no other obligations? Second of all, the unlimited text and messaging plan is $35, but for only $10 more, you can actually have unlimited data. So are the extra features really worth the extra $10 you'll, you'll spend? Doesn't sound like much, but this is really a fairly stripped down and basic phone. So. We're not sure if the extra features justify the $10 additional monthly cost. Now in terms of the first question, the Cricut Message Mate 2 doesn't feel like a cheap phone. It's got a nice soft touch finish on the back. It's a little bit light and that lack of density does make it feel a little bit cheap but the materials are good, the workmanship feels solid, all of the buttons are solid on the QWERTY keyboard. I actually like this spring-loaded switch here, and it, everything feels pretty sturdy, even these port covers here for the mini USB slot, and also for the 2.5mm headphone jack. They feel fairly sturdy, like they're going to last for a little while. So from the outside, the phone doesn't feel very cheap. Once you start using it, though, you'll notice it's a very sluggish interface. Here I'm looking at the My Home Screens feature from Cricut. These are sort of customizable widgets. There aren't many of them. They aren't very useful. They do add a little bit, and they're going to rely on that unlimited data plan, of course, because they're going to constantly update themselves. But I really wasn't very impressed. They're sort of tough to get through. Now, the Cricut Message Mate 2 is la lacking a ton of the features that you'll find on even the cheapest carrier 3G feature phones. And this isn't a 3G phone, it runs on the slower 1XRT network. Here you'll see the phone has a 1.3 megapixel camera. It does not shoot video, and there's no micro SD card slot, so you're limited to the internal memory on this phone, which isn't very much. There's also no music player, you can record sounds but you can't really get mp3 files onto this phone and you're not going to want to use it as a music player plus it's got that dinky little two and a half millimeter jack anyway the web browser is very sluggish and basic it runs off the 1x network so it's very slow and it's just a basic simple WAP browser so full html sites are not going to load properly they're going to show up in a full single column and there's no way to adjust that on this phone and it wasn't really fun navigating even with the spring-loaded wheel here on the side, the spring-loaded rocker, it still really wasn't very fun getting around on this phone. Worst of all, though, is that the Cricut Message Mate 2 just has nothing going on in the messaging department. There's really nothing interesting with the SMS text messaging. You can send picture messages. Here you can see it's a picture message I've received. But it doesn't have threaded messaging. It doesn't have this sort of conversational format. Messaging isn't even very de easy to use and there's no really good keyboard shortcuts to correct spelling or any of the nice features that you'll find on any smarter phone. There's a very basic email app. It's very slow to use and it works with some presets or your POP or IMAP accounts. Um, but it really just didn't offer very much and it wasn't very reliable. I didn't get notifications and really for a phone that has such a, a nice QWERTY keyboard down below and it's a nice shiny looking keyboard. It's a little small for me, but it's still pretty easy to use. I expected a lot more in terms of messaging. I could do without the music features and the multimedia, but I really wanted a phone that delivered on some better messaging experience. So you can still get your calls and messaging done. It's not the best phone for the job, though it is very inexpensive and it does have that full QWERTY keyboard. And for PhoneScoop, this is the Cricut Message Mate 2.